Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York in southwest Suffolk County. They have mulch. They've got topsoil. They've got sand. And in case we see some winter weather and we actually might see some winter weather, uh, they've got salt. Uh, six three. They're getting ready for spring too. Six three one seven five six one one two five is the phone number, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So we're going to be taking a look at the potential for two weather systems to be moving through. Actually, three of them. Two are moving through tomorrow. The other one is moving through on uh, late Monday, Monday night into Tuesday. So first off, let's look at tomorrow. And what we have is an upper trough in the northern part of the jet stream. You can see the snow that's over the Great Lakes. And we've got some moisture in parts of the south. This uh, first map here is at uh, 2 a.m. Saturday morning. So what's going to happen is the northern system is going to move through first. And that's going to produce an area of light snow across northeastern Pennsylvania, northeast, northern New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, and eventually Long Island and Connecticut. The, the map on the screen right now is at 10 a.m. on Saturday. We've got a cold high that's building in tonight, so we're going to be bottoming out uh, inland areas tonight in the teens, 20 to 25 along coastal and urban areas uh, for Saturday morning. And temperatures are going to really struggle tomorrow because of clouds, uh, probably having a tough time getting back to around the freezing mark. So this first system will move on through. The second one is further south. So that will bring maybe an area of snow Saturday afternoon into southernmost Pennsylvania, down into Delaware, Maryland, and maybe even into southern New Jersey tomorrow evening. The northern system will eventually bring some snow across uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and then that moves out. For either one, we're talking about maybe a coating to as much as a half an inch. There really isn't a whole lot here to work with. And that's pretty much how that uh, sets up. Meanwhile, uh, right now in the southwest and in California especially, we still have winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings, uh, especially in southern California in the mountains to the east of Los Angeles and to the north of San Diego where the snow is accumulating uh in by by the foot and they're going to be finishing some places are going to get four to six feet out of this and there's been heavy rains in southern california as well uh on the order of uh, two to five inches worth and you'll notice uh the warnings that were up further north in the state have now been sort of downgraded to winter weather advisories we have a narrow strip of winter weather advisories tonight from northeast kansas into southern missouri into central i'm sorry northern missouri into central illinois nothing much really going on uh, in the uh, eastern part of the United States. And as we look at the uh, satellite loop, you see the uh, stream of clouds from the Great Lakes to New England, a gap in between where we had a fairly decent day, and also clouds from Texas and Oklahoma. Those are streaming eastward. That's some of that southern moisture that we're uh, pointing out is going to uh, be part of that uh, one-two uh, system for tomorrow. And then, of course, uh, the, what's on the West Coast is a storm drop southward off the West Coast. That is going to be the weather system that moves into the east on Monday. Fairly quiet radar picture tonight. Uh, you've got some light precipitation occurring in parts of Virginia, North Carolina, a little bit more intensive in uh, Georgia, northern Alabama to Mississippi, and uh, also back into parts of uh, central Arkansas. We actually even have a flash flood warning up. Uh, as of 5 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, you see how loaded the radar is over California, particularly in Southern California, with that uh, that heavy rainfall. So uh, this is the probability for at least two inches. This carries us through Monday evening, so it doesn't really go out far enough because the snow that we're talking about for Monday is going to come Monday night into Tuesday. So this is through the daytime. Uh, into Monday evening, and you can see that the probabilities aren't all that high. Uh, they, are, they are high up in the northern Great Lakes, but then as we look at the time frame from on the longer range, which covers Monday into Tuesday, so this includes Monday night, WPC has the light green is 10 to 30 percent for at least uh, a few inches. The darker green is at 30 to 50 and that runs along the southern Connecticut coast, back across northern New Jersey, northwest New Jersey, 
Northeast Pennsylvania, much of the Hudson Valley, much of Connecticut, Rhode Island into Massachusetts, southern New Hampshire, Vermont, and back through upstate New York is in 50 to 70. And in the light blue areas that you see there, we are talking uh, the, possi uh, the probability of 70 uh, to 90 percent for at least a few inches. So let me just take you through the uh, Monday event now, and we're going to look at the uh, GFS from today. Uh, the issues with the models the last two days between the European and the GFS is that the European's been a little bit warmer. The GFS was colder and then caught up to the European. So naturally, the European now is colder. So go figure. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, have, a, we'll have uh, this system tomorrow. Again, one passes to the north, one goes to the south. Then Sunday should be an okay day. Uh, with temperatures actually bouncing up back to the 40s to maybe even a few upper 40s and low 50s. That California storm will be in northeast Kansas early Monday morning. The primary low is going to go to the Great Lakes. We have a uh, high that is building in southeastern Canada. Not a strong one, but enough that it'll wedge in some cold air. And as that moisture hits that cold air on the northern shield, you'll see some snow and sleet breaking out ahead of it. This is Monday evening at 7 o'clock. And then that cold air is going to try to hold it, especially for southern New England, southeastern New England, and through upstate New York. So you don't have to, won't have to go that far upstate New York uh, to see that. And that will uh, continue into Tuesday morning as a low redevelops and then moves out to the east. The European model is uh, ever so slightly colder, but it makes it that would make a huge difference for places around New York City, Long Island, South Coastal Connecticut, northern New Jersey, uh, and into parts of northeastern Pennsylvania. We'll show you here what the European does. Here's that system for tomorrow, the one to the north and then the one to the south. That goes out, and then we'll move into uh, Sunday, which is a non-event day, and now Monday. Here comes that arm, and again, the European's a little bit colder today. So it causes snow to break out on the northern edge. This is at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. At 7 o'clock, the, the blues are all snow. You get into the purples, that sleet. The sleet line actually goes down to Route 195, which caught me by surprise. I was a little surprised to see the European do this. And uh, then, of course, as the secondary low starts to develop, uh, it pinches off the warm air. So uh, the sleet line looks like it gets to about Route 78 on the European, and it's snow with some sleet on Long Island. It's all snow in the Hudson Valley in Connecticut, and that continues Monday night uh, into Tuesday morning. The European never changes it over to, to all rain uh, for Long Island and for New York City uh, and for northern New Jersey. So... Uh, at the moment, I think the best approach is to just, since we have time, we'll wait for the next run of model cycle to play through and see how the models handle this. If the cold air is more important, then this may finally be, we've waited all winter for this, but this may finally be for some, but not all, uh, an accumulating snow that'll be more than just a few tenths of an inch, believe it or not. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. The website is omnitruevalue.com. Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back on Sunday, and we're going to be on at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Usually on Sundays we're on at 11 a.m., but we will be on at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. So we will see you then.